Hello and welcome to our second tutorial on the GIMP graphical uh, manipulation tool. My name is Josh Beck. I'm a, a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. I teach seventh grade with a magnet program called iMac, which stands for Interactive Media Applications at Kruger. In the first tutorial that I put together, we created the image that you see on the screen, uh, the one that says, hello everyone. We basically typed in some text. Uh, we duplicated a layer and uh, we decided how opaque we wanted the layer to be. We flipped it over, stretched it out, and created a bit of a reflection. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate quickly how to use a couple of different tools, uh, the rectangular select tool and the gradient tool. Okay, so um, here's the picture I've opened up, which is all too familiar to the students in my class. We've been working with this picture for the last couple of weeks and I'm gonna go over to my tools and I'm gonna select the rectangular select tool and obviously I've got um, a bunch of options down here one of the ones that tends to be a sticking point sometimes you can't quite figure out what's going on is uh, the free select option you can tell it to select a fixed size as well but uh, for this case we're gonna choose free select if it is on fixed size you may run into some problems so always whenever you're selecting a tool up in the GIMP you want to check your tool options and make sure everything is set correctly. Okay, so we're going to go to our layers dialog over here which is always important when working with images and uh, in order to get to that you can choose dialogs up at the top of the image and in this case we'll click layers and that'll bring it up and we're going to click on our new layer button. We're going to tell it we want this layer to be transparent and we're ready now to select a rectangular region. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll just pull the rectangle right about like that. Uh, one of the options that you have when working with rectangles is up at the top where it says select. You can choose rounded rectangle. And uh, it'll throw a dialog up and it'll ask you, okay, how rounded do you want this rectangle to be? We'll just leave the default. You can see it rounds out the corners. Okay, so up on our toolbar, we'll go ahead and we'll slide over and we'll pick this time the uh, gradient tool. And the gradient tool has several different options. You can decide how opaque you would like the gradient. We'll leave it about 80, uh, which is, you know, a little bit, little bit transparent. The mode, you can choose dissolve, behind, color, erase, multiply. They all do different things, but I find uh, in most cases when just working with a, a gradient, uh, that isn't being applied to different layers or anything like that. Normal works. You can choose the color or the type. Uh, you can be specific. You can choose foreground to background and in this case you can see my foreground color and my background color both black. I'll choose the background color here and I'll make it white. And You can see my gradient has now changed from black to white. Okay. Uh, based on my foreground color and my background color. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to take it back to purple. One of the more interesting tools, uh, tool options with the gradient is the shape. You can choose whether you want it to be linear, radial, conical. Uh, in this case, I'll go ahead and stick with a spiral. So in order to apply a gradient, you just draw a line inside of the selected region. So I'll draw a line that looks like that. And there's the gradient that we got. And you know the neat thing about the GIMP with gradients is depending on the line that you draw, you get a radically different gradient every time. So I'll draw a different line. And as you can see, the gradient is very much different. I kind of like the wider circles, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a nice big line like that again, and we'll make it like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead back to our toolbar, and we're going to pick the rectangular select tool, and I'll demonstrate one more, one more option with the rectangular select tool. We'll uh, go ahead once again. We're going to add a new element, so this time we want a new layer. Kind of hard to remember that um, in this case transparent again. So now I've got an image with three layers and I'm gonna go ahead and draw a nice big rectangle around the teddy bear like that. I'm going to choose select and then rounded rectangle just like last time and it's gonna round out my corners and uh, one other option that you can use within the GIMP is you can choose select and then border. It pops an option and it asks okay how many pixels and once again, you can do it in inches, millimeters, points. In this case, uh, we'll stick with pixels. And um, I'll go ahead and I'll give this border uh, 
say, 15 pixels wide. And if I click OK, you can see I've got a nice big border. So I can go to uh, fill that border in with either a gradient, and uh, or I could just do a regular fill using the paint bucket. In this case, I'll go ahead and use a gradient. I'll go ahead and pick a different color. For this, I will pick blue. And if I draw a line inside there, it's going to fill that border in with a blue gradient. So there you have it, The what we uh, talked about in this particular tutorial. Uh, two tools in particular, the rectangular select tool has two options. You can choose select rounded rectangle or select border and the gradient select tool uh, which has several options. Uh, the GIMP is a very powerful tool and uh, there are just so many there's so many options with this program it's it's hard to keep track of them all. So uh, keep an eye out for our next tutorial 